Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Oscar De La Hoya responds to Floyd Mayweather. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I want to give my quick thoughts. Now, I posted on Instagram, Floyd Mayweather... He accused Oscar De La Hoya of being back on that shit, snorting lines again, being on coke, because he did it like it was an Instagram live video or whatever. And he says, De La Hoya, the same person that was boycotting my fight, telling people to protest it with McGregor. Now he trying to call out Conor McGregor. That's a hypocrite, which I said well before Floyd even made that video. De La Hoya must have heard the or seen the video and he responds back on his Twitter, verified Twitter account. He says, hey, at Floyd Mayweather, you want to continue talking shit? Okay, there you go. And then he he attached an article and it says Floyd Mayweather's domestic violence arrest and criminal history. And it's um some run-ins with the law about battery and obviously when he got arrested after the Cotto fight, went to jail, stuff like that. Want to give my thoughts real quick? I think it's petty on behalf of De La Hoya's part. And this is where I'm from. I don't know. I can't speak for everybody. But out here where I'm from in the, in the Bay Area is, is kind of like a cause and effect and it, it, de it depends on how you move and realistically the reason Floyd has excused like when De La Hoya was making these pleas and telling people to boycott Mayweather McGregor Floyd wasn't even attacking Oscar De La Hoya he kind of just let him hate and let Bernard Hopkins hate on him but then I guess the the, the line in the sand, the straw that broke the camel's back, is when De La Hoya did the ultimate hypocritical thing. And it's not the first time. And he says, I'll fight Conor McGregor and come out of retirement. That pushes you over the edge as a true hypocrite. Because, like I said, it's not the first time. He also says the Mayweather-McGregor mismatch is horrible for boxing. Boycott it. Protest it. It's ruining boxing. It's a waste of everybody's time. Yet, he has interviews with Fight Hub and other places, TMZ, where he says he wants to make Canelo his fighter versus Conor McGregor. And he'd love to work with Conor McGregor. So uh, to me, it's just petty on behalf of De La Hoya. I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. It's just it's really petty on his point to because the only reason Floyd's even responding is because he's did something so hypocritical. Now, you know what they say. You shouldn't throw stones if you live in a glass house. I think Oscar, in my opinion, has enough um skeletons in his closet to the point where you really probably don't want to try to attack another man's character that much now i know fans there's a lot of racist fans and different stuff they'll be like ah get him oscar yeah but you have to know oscar got a dui this year oscar has an l for trying to sue al Heyman, and in his case got dismissed this year oscar for his fighter his his prized pupil Canelo Alvarez, biggest fight of his career against Floyd Mayweather. Oscar was not present because he was in rehab. Oscar also has those pictures with the fishnets and he was, you know what I mean? It's it's a noted thing that he had substance abuse issues and he was doing like R&B videos and people were calling him soft. He also has a, a, a case where in Mexico where he was accused of raping an underage girl, right? So again, I mean, if, if we're being real, it's just like Lampley talking about Mayweather and the domestic violence. And Lampley got a case with his ex-wife where she accused him of, of beating on her. You know what I'm saying? And the police were called and arrests were made, all that. So to me, all these guys, unless you Jesus or somebody and you live a perfect life or at least the, the darkest moments, your dirty laundry is not aired out for the world to see, then it's probably best that you don't really go looking and seeking for the fire because like i said i mean if you really think about it both domestic violence is wrong but so is rape you see all these people in hollywood who are losing jobs and i just seen the danny masterson from the 70s show he lost his gig on a netflix show he was on and he's the executive producer for because some girls came out and said he inappropriately touched them harassed them 
stuff like that. De La Hoya had a case, like I said, a, a rape case with an underage girl in Mexico. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, which one's worse? Domestic violence or raping a, a minor, you know what I mean? Or being accused of it. So, realistically, they all have dirt, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and like I said, it's, it's really cause and effect. That's, that's what it boils down to. I think if De La Hoya didn't do things that were so painstakingly obvious and blatantly hypocr uh, hypocritical, then, you know what I mean, Mayweather probably wouldn't even, even gave him no shine or even mention him. Just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hey, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.